All right, today I'm doing uh, traps and shoulders. Went ahead and warmed up with uh, 135 pounds. For my pre-workout shake or drink today, I did with one scoop of Jack 3 Micro and one spoon full of AAKT 3000. So starting with the shrugs here, I like to warm up. <clears throat> I did, uh, I think, two sets with the 135. I went ahead and uh, upped it to, I believe that's 185. And then uh, go ahead and gonna up it again to 225. Now, uh, if you see on my right side, I got kind of a, uh, sometimes you'll see me shrug it off, um, like a little impingement in my shoulder, causing me to have some, some issues. I got to kind of readjust my posture. So that's what that is. Um, then we went up to 275, and uh, I went ahead and broke out the straps on this one because my grip was uh, starting to fade a little bit. So I'd rather get my extra reps and use the, the um, straps there <clears throat> and do a little bit more weight to for the shrugs. So the straps definitely help out with this. I work my forearms out uh, separate time, so i um, not too worried about that. Now I know it doesn't look as pretty, but that is a 315. There's a, there's a 25 on each side and then uh, two tenths. So we're up to 315. I believe I did about eight reps on this one. This is the uh, same thing, 315. I just went ahead and changed the viewpoint. And you might be able to see that my right side looks a little bit different than my left, and that's that uh, impingement in my shoulder. Still haven't been told what that is yet. <clears throat> went to a couple different doctors. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and do some upright rows. I do not use a lot of weight on here. That's only uh, 50 pounds on on there with the bar. So what's that, 95? I really feel that one in my shoulder where I said I had that one. I actually didn't change the weight on any of those. Ended up doing the same amount of weight for four reps, or I'm sorry, four sets. And uh, <clears throat> when it comes to working out, I don't have uh, pride. You know, if I I stick to the weights, I know I can do on certain ones. Went ahead and did uh, face pulls. Use the V bar. It's got some space. Uh, if I bring it up close, it's not going to hit me in the face. So you can do this on a high pulley system. I'm going to try to keep the elbows up high. Bring them. I, I'd also do it with a rope, but uh, today I just decided to do it with the V-bar. And um, that was starting with 100 pounds. <clears throat> just change the angle so you guys can see. I post my foot up on the uh, bench part of it, so it's really just me focusing on that area. It's not me having to worry about core strength or anything else. I'm just focusing on the traps. <clears throat> uh, my first set I did the 100 pounds. My second set I did 120 pounds. Third set 140 pounds. Just try to give you some different angles so it's A not as boring to watch and B uh, so you can kind of see the muscle that work there. You just want to keep those elbows up high, bring that towards the face. And like I said, you can use a rope if you want. For my uh, fourth set, I went ahead and did 160 pounds. And this isn't one that's uh, an exercise that you really want to do a heck of a lot of weight. Uh, you want to be able to do a weight that you're going to keep those elbows up, have decent form. You're not looking at rocking the body. I mean, sure, I could sway back. I could jerk the weight uh, and get more poundage, but that's really not what we're looking for. It's not going to help you out a lot. So those are my exercises that were more for the traps. Then I went on to some front raises. Now this one here, um, because of that impingement I was telling you about in my shoulder, really feel I can't go really heavy. I started out with 
uh, 20 pound dumbbells and uh, went up as you'll see on the next clip to only 25 pound dumbbells <clears throat> so I'm sure there's plenty of people on here watching that that say they can do a heck of a lot more and I used to be able to but uh, like I said that impingement really holds me back so I just do the best that I can shoulders is not one of my great uh, muscles as I'm not able to do as much as I'd like certainly not as much as, as I've been as I've done in pa past years and um, if you look at some of my older photos from my um, slideshow I, I posted a couple months ago my shoulders were probably in a much rounder much better shape a couple years ago but just one of those things you gotta make the best of alright still working the shoulders now some of these exercises um, you know are gonna work the traps too and that's fine that's why I try to pair these these exercises together. This one I started out very light, only uh, 15 pounds. Next, uh, this is the same exercise, just a different view. I went up to 25 pounds, so I kind of jumped up. I went from 15 to 25. Um, and as you can see, my right side has a little bit of trouble with that. So more weights, not always better. Uh, I finished off with some uh, slow shrugs here. I do two and then hold. Um, and as you can see, there's a, an imbalance between the right side and the left side, and that is because of that impingement. I uh, just try to give you guys some different angles here <clears throat> so you can see the traps working. Uh, I also did um, some bent over lateral raises to hit the rear delts. I didn't get that on film but I didn't want to let you guys know I did that. Uh, and then just at the end here I went ahead and did, hit a couple poses with it. You can kind of see the shoulder development as well as the um, traps upper back. And like I said, not my strong suit due to that impingement, but you know, just doing the best I can. Uh, I did a post-workout shake today of two scoops of whey in one cup of milk, that free milk, and I did uh, five grams of creatine, which is just the standard uh, scoop. So that's pretty much it for my trap and shoulder workout. Let me know what you guys think.